What makes a weapon? A lot of things. Every stat, range, stability, aim assist, every perk added combination, the gun model, the recoil pattern, the sound even. Combined, you get the feel. Adding in every single little detail all together, you're always gonna come out with something new, even if it shows resemblance to a previous weapon. When I first got my hands on Kept Confidence, I immediately felt the difference, and just a random roll, my first one, I said, it's up there for me already. I haven't had a hand cannon feel like this in a long time. Up there with Palindrome, as far as feel, and it's looking to be my main hand cannon when I get it crafted. Well, I got it crafted. It's my new favorite thing, and something I will be using going forward. I want to spend some time on this review, break it down. I want to talk about why it's so good, what to look for, and more. This is a PvP weapon first. It has some niche PvE play for those interested. I'll go over that, but I want to talk where this thing stands. I have the rolls to show. I've seen some takes on it. Oh, the stats this, the perks that. Look, it is fine. It's more than fine. It's great. So let's break it down. I'm going to show you where and why Kept Confidence is up there, right in the ring with the big guns. First of all, number one, just a simple eye test. This type of stat split is reserved for the best hand cannons in the game. High stats, no real horrible ones, and it usually looks somewhat like uniform stairs. Take a look at Palindrome. It has this Exalted Truth, Igneous Hammer. Fatebringer, IS Luna, all of these have been regarded as some of the best stat monsters. Compared to some other ones, they have some niche things, but it's because they lack stats, they lack combinations, plain and simple. Like Cantata, that doesn't look like the others. And one of my personal favorites, Judgment, it's not like the others, it needs a lot of help. The Judgment Sure Shot, Ricochet Rounds, Rage Masterwork, 74 range, 32 stability, 32 handling, 40 reload. It's just not up there, it's a feel thing. And straight up, one of my favorite weapons, IS Luna, this one's Range Masterwork, Ricochet Rounds, Crossfire, 73 range, 69 stability, a beast. But wouldn't you know it? My Kept Confidence edges it. So there's gonna be zero stat slander on Kept Confidence. Zero, it hangs, it is up there. Especially since we have a different sandbox in season 22, and this sandbox allows this hand cannon and many others to put in work. So to me, it is one of the best hand cannons Bungie's put out in a long time. Bold to say, I know, but I have my reasons for saying that. Number one, the perk set is perfect for what it is, what you want it for. And two, it's essentially a Destiny 1 hand cannon. It has Destiny 1 DNA. Its model is after Fatebringer, Lord Highfixer, those old school hand cannons. But that comes with a twist. We do have Fatebringer in Destiny 2, but a massive part of why it feels so good is the model, but this model is the slimmest it's ever been when you put them on top of each other. And I lined up the cylinders. It has a shorter barrel, a skinnier barrel, skinny like a Suros hand cannon, extremely open sights. Compared to Fatebringer, it doesn't have that little laser sight that it has on the left side of the weapon. And then when you place something like Ostringer on top of both of them, it's just straight up smaller and shorter than pretty much anything we've ever used. And what that translates to, no matter the stability stat, whether it's at 50, 60, 70, whatever, the sights are raised off the barrel so much, you have a clean shot of your target, plain and simple. It has great stats that you can manipulate a little bit, and I'll show you some cool things in a moment, but it sounds great, it sounds powerful. I have mine at 100 recoil direction, 73 range, 70 stability. And that range hangs in season 22. Sunshot is a monster right now. Of course it has explosive payload, but it's at 71 range. Vertical recoil, high stability, higher than normal range. Seeing everything clearly when you're shooting at it is a big deal. It is, and that's why I've fallen in love with it. So let's break down the perks and combinations and what you're trying to do with it. We have quick draw. Few and far in between on hand cannons now. A lot of players, including myself, run it on rows. It's a great perk. When you ready the weapon for a second, 100 ready so speed with your handling, 0.95 ready animation scaler. It feels great. We have invisible hand, and at this point, they should just completely rework it. Stats for all, loose change, which is a new one. Applying an elemental debuff to a target increases the weapon's reload for a short duration. We'll get to that a little bit later. Shot swap, air assault, which we'll get to that, and killing wind. Get a kill for five seconds, 50 mobility, 40 handling, 20 range, and a 5% increased damage fall off distance. So that can go past the cap a little bit. Fourth column, Eye of the Storm. Monster dueling perk, giving massive amounts of accuracy help. This procs as your health gets lower and your shields don't even have to be broke. When you are in critical health, red health, it's at max stack, great perk. We have Thresh, Harmony, Pugilist, Gutshot Straight, Collective Action, and Multi-Kill Clip. We also have Head Rush, not the best origin trait. Crouch for a couple seconds, stand up. You get a little bit of help to your handling and reload. Not worried about it. I wanna start with my roll, why I have it this way, and some other things you can do with it. Small bore, range masterwork, accurized rounds, killing wind, enhanced eye of the storm. 
So this is that 73 range, 70 stability. This combination at base is 73 range, 63 stability, but enhanced eye of the storm grants plus five stability. And at level 20 on the craft, you get a small bonus to all stats that weren't the masterwork. So in this case, stability gets help. That's how it gets to 70. I chose killing wind and just so we're clear, killing wind or quick draw, is the top option in column three for the crucible there's no wrong answer it's player preference i'll talk about quick draw in a second but killing wind let's remember killing wind after a kill plus 50 mobility 40 handling 20 range it gets more snappy and mine goes to 93 range when it's active i'm getting ready to enhance it the biggest reminder hand cannons that aren't 120s at 100 range reach 37 and a half meters fall off killing wind gets mine to 93 range but Killing Wind adds the additional 5% increased damage fall off scaler. So this means it goes past the cap. It goes to 38.3. So again, there will be zero slander about stats and perks. 70 stability past the range cap. And check this out. This is pretty cool. And if you want to do this, do it. Go right ahead. And I'll show you the comparison. I'm personally comfortable with 73 range, 70 stability. Because in the sandbox, 73 range does extremely well. Again, it has a little bit more range than Sunshot, and Sunshot is brutal. With Killing Wind active, it pushes past the actual cap of what 140s can do, and Eye of the Storm wins duels. It also gives handling. But if you go full bore, accurized range masterwork, Killing Wind, Enhance Eye of the Storm. Enhance gives that passive plus five stability, gets that plus two, so it's helping negate that full, full bore penalty. It ends up reaching 81 range, a threshold. 81 range, 53 stability. And what's cool, that stat split is very similar to Ace of Spades. It's four stat points off of the range. And I think that we all can agree that Ace of Spades does really well right now. But this kept confidence means that Killing Wind, you go from 81 to 100 range, and then have the 5% falloff scaler. So, so it's a 100 range hand cannon that goes past the cap of 37.5 to actually 39.4, almost two full meters past the cap. That's with this roll. Again, it hangs. I personally went with the 70 stability with Killing Wind, and that's still getting a full meter past cap. That's why I find importance of Killing Wind over Quick Draw. Because at base, it's 71 range, 70 stability, Eye the Storm, it duels. And after that, it's a monster. There's no wrong answer though. If you go Quick Draw, that's fine. It's front loaded with handling. The fourth column, PVP wise, it should be Eye of the Storm. You could go with enhanced gut shot for something cheeky, maybe multi-kill clip. But as I started with the model, how they made it, you're kind of pushed to a dueling style. That's what it wants you to do. And it's great. It's a dueling hand cannon. So quick draw eye, killing wind eye is the surefire craft. And you're going to be really happy with both. The other route is airborne. I do want to bring this up. Air assault and Icarus mod at base gets it to 46 AE. You get a kill. One stack of air assault is 81 AE. Two stacks is 100. Not to mention, Threat of Ascent on Strand, that fragment, Air Assault, Icarus, is 76 AE. One kill, it's at 100. It has the stats and perks, guys. I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's incredible. As far as PvE, it's a Strand hand cannon. The other is Round Robin. It has niche things, but PvE-wise, it lacks a little bit because you do have to run it a certain way. And as far as Strand primaries, Quicksilver Storm is just incredible. It's too hard to pass up. Really hard. And I still use my Perpetualis with Golden Tricorn a ton. And Cannon's got a nice quality of life buff. Those help them out, but it is best going to be used with Strand. Third column, we have stats for all and loose change. Loose change, applying an elemental debuff to a target increases reload speed. So that means you have to build into it. Things like isolation, landing rapid precision hits causes sever. So when you just lay into a target, you will proc sever and that's gonna proc loose change. And it's just gonna be up pretty much indefinitely because that target's always gonna be severed if you're laying into them. We also have propagation. Melee final blows grant unraveling rounds. So unravel rounds, once you start hitting the target, immediately loose changes up. So you're kind of pushed into these two fragments for loose change if you go that route, if not stats for all. And honestly, stats for all, very easy to get going. Just like Killing Wind, it has that 5% increased damage fall off distance. It has 35 reload speed with the reload modifier. Also 10 stability range, 35 handling. It's just going to be stats for all. That final column, we have Gut Shot Straight. We have Thresh. We have Collective Action. It is Strand. There's going to be a lot of Threadlings. So once you pick that up, 20% more damage. You can chain it a little bit. It's okay, not a world beater. It is best used in the Strand kit. But in the current sandbox for PvE, Legendary Strand 140 Hand Cannon with what's out there, it leaves a lot to be desired compared to them. It is a PvP weapon, and a top shelf one at that. If you're into dueling hand cannons, Quick Draw Eye, Killing Wind Eye, it's perfect. Because when you set it up how I talked about, Enhance Eye of the Storm, crafting it past 20, 
that's where you want to be. That's where you need to be. Clean model, minimal kick. You can see everything that you're shooting at. Nothing gets lost. And again, I put on a counterbalance mod. So you get it to 100 recoil direction. You don't have to do that. But to me, that makes a very consistent, very sturdy lethal shooting experience. It's up there with the best hand cannons in the game, especially after the mid-range shakeup. And as I talk about with sniper rifles, the only thing that matters is clicking heads. Whatever hand cannon you're using, whatever sniper rifle you're using, if you're able to be comfortable with it, and a little pun, if you have confidence in it, that's all that matters. This thing does a lot of it for you. Minimal kick, eye of the storm, it just wins duels. Craft it, try it out. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about kept confidence down below. I've heard a lot of different things. Uh, I, I do know, mostly agreed upon, it's an excellent feeling hand cannon. A lot of people say it feels great. But when you do break it down, compare it to other things, where its stat splits are, it's up there with them. I would love to hear your thoughts though. So let's talk about it down below. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.